Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue to explore what's hot in Canva. In this episode, I have two new template categories. I have two new features that I want to talk about and one photographer spotlight. So if you're ready, let's jump into Canva. All right, so for those of you who follow the channel, you might know that I have recently created a tutorial about how to create a wallpaper for your phone or, you know, the lock screen and the home screen and all this kind of stuff. So I was showing you that in a tutorial and we will link that in the description below. But today I want to show you that there is a, an actual template category in Canva to search for not phone wallpaper, the desktop wallpaper. So let's go ahead and type in desktop wallpaper like this. And this will bring out the category. We have 674 templates right here, which is pretty cool. And that's uh, the format 1920 by 1080. So some of my favorite, uh, the hard one here, I will open that in a new window. I really like this one with the funny message in the middle. This one is one of my favorite too. Really like stuff like this, very colorful. Uh, and leafy kind of designs. I like this one as well. This one uses a font that I remember I have been searching for a very long time. It's called Edu uh, or Edo. Uh, we'll get to this. But so what I wanted to show you is that desktop wallpaper will actually call out this category and you can really create in no time beautiful desktop wallpaper, download that and upload it as your wallpaper on your computer. So let's go ahead and explore a few of those that I have selected here. So we have the first one with the hearts and you can go crazy with this. For example, this is a photo. If you want to change the color of this, you could change the color of the hearts like so. You can change them individually. This is pretty cool. This is actually a group of hearts. So you can really go crazy, change the color of every heart if that's what you want. Let's uh, switch over to the next one. Yeah, this one is a funny one that I really like. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so we can read this message. You have no access here. Now step away from this computer. <laughs> so you can go like and create funny messages like this, have that on your desktop. And maybe if your mom or your friend uses your computer, they say this, they are a bit confused, right? So that's, uh, I found that funny. Another one here, there is no limit to what we as women can accomplish. So motivational quote here is Michelle Obama. I really like this one. It's a woman empowerment quote. This one is a Canva classic, like using leaf and vegetation for uh, creating this kind of template. You can change the color. You can change the color of the background if you want and really kind of style this in a different way. Um, you can really go and, and have some fun with these backgrounds. All right, a couple more and then we'll switch over to the next category of template I want to show you. Stay sassy. So we have some sort of a watercolor painting and then just very short motivational quote. And then the last one with the font I was referring to, Edo, which I really like this kind of like paintbrush street, really like graffiti almost kind of font. This is Edo. So this works great. Black and yellow, for example, if you like this like really high contrast, really bold font. Let me go back to the home screen and show you the second category of template I want to talk about today because this is super relevant and I'm talking about birthday zoom background. So unfortunately, we still live in a COVID world. It's still 2021 and people cannot really hang out with each other as much as they would like. So one of the trends is that people are celebrating their birthdays over Zoom. And this happened as of yesterday. Diana was talking to her family in Colombia. We are living here in Sydney, Australia, so very far from Colombia. So bringing a touch of color and a positive message to this could be fun. And therefore Canva has created this fun looking, colorful, uh, happy birthday background. So search for that keyword, birthday zoom background. And you can see that we have different types of things here. I'm gonna open a few to show you. Uh, I really like this one, this one too. This one could actually be a wallpaper as well. And yes, so the first one is very classic, like happy birthday, happy birthday. You can change everything here. Uh, you can customize the color of these little guys right here. You can customize your message, of course. This one I, I really like too, is to try to brainstorm with all the people who would be involved in the Zoom call. What are one thing that this person really likes? Here is like all the wishes. So 
All the different friends will wish something different to Alex. So the best of health, less stress, more rest days, stronger coffee. Alex probably works at Canva. <laughs> uh, so let's continue to explore. Like, yes, we have this very like nice little flowers here. And then this one, Soleil's birthday. So messages for birthday gal. And this one, you see there's some little sparkles. So what you should do with this template, not download it as a still image, but you can download this as a video. You see, when there is an animation in your template, Canva will suggest you download this as a video and you will have a video background for your Zoom calls. So it's really cool because it's gonna be moving on screen, it's gonna be interesting. All right, so this concludes the first section of this video, which is showing you two new categories of templates. Now, I want to do a transition to a photographer that I discovered in the Canva library, which is super cool. I absolutely love what she designs and the way she plays around with colors. Let me switch over to her page here on Canva. Her name is Katya Havoc. First, I want to show you some of her work, which is super colorful, very bright, very trendy, I say. And I really love this type of art where we play with color blocking and contrasting colors. So the, the little bio here reads, my name is Ekaterina Shebotareva. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. But everyone knows me as Katya Havok. I am a contemporary art photographer and collage maker. I specialize on still life photographs, studio photography, and art collages. My art have specific bright colors, creative concepts, and also consist of minimalism and surrealism. So yeah, very accurate description because this is exactly what it is. So very trendy, very Instagram-y, electric also, I might say. So how do you use this? So when you find a photographer like this one in the Canva library, you can either start by hearting the photos, for example. So I'm gonna heart this one. So it actually goes to my likes folder so I can access that later from the Canva editor. Or for example, let me use this one. If you click on it, first you have a few interesting things like the five dominant colors extracted from that photo, which is always cool. And then I can add to a folder. For example, you create a folder. These are my cool photographies that I found on Canva. That could be one way of using them or you can use them directly into a design. So if you click here, you will be prompted to choose which one. I'll go for an Instagram post and then the photo will open in a document which is the size of an Instagram post. So from here, how do you find more of these photos from Katya? You have the little eye icon here, info button, right? So you click on that and then you will be seeing different kinds of information here. So view more from Katya Havoc. So I'll just click here and now you will have all of Katya's work showing here in your left side panel. And you will also have her brand code. So if you type this, you can copy this and you can add some information. So if you want, for example, something with a banana, just type this and then you will basically call all of the photos from Katya because that's her brand uh, code for Canva and bananas. So if you look here, that's what we have. So yeah, really love Katya's work, I needed to show it to you. It's really also like a good transition, no? With the birthdays and everything, the colors. So I thought I would show that to you. And that's my photographer's highlight for this month. All right, now let's get into part three of this video, which is I'm going to talk about two new features that just landed in Canva. The first one is infographic charts. So I already created a video about infographic chart, a full tutorial on how to create full-blown infographic for your business or for your nonprofit. So you can click on the link here and watch this tutorial, but I want to kind of recall the feature because it is a relatively new feature. So in order to find these infographic charts, you will need to find the button here, the tab that says chart. And if it's not here, let's say you have your panel here on the left and you don't see chart, it's gonna be lodged under the little more button and the chart. So what's new is all of these infographic chart buttons right here. So we used to have bars, we used to have pie charts and donuts, but now these have been received kind of like a redesign from Canva. And when you click on it, they actually open a little panel here. And this panel allows you to really customize the style of your design. You can add your percentages, you can have rounded or straight edges. And this works with a bunch like a variety of different infographic charts. 
So this is what I wanted to show you. Let me get back to the charts here and show you a different category. Let me make this one smaller. It's this one right here. So it looks like a series of little guys right here, but you have in the panel actually different types of icons that you can use. So you can go ahead and play with this. For example, if you are creating courses, you could have like your five stars. And uh, let's say you have four out of five stars. That's your average. That's how you would represent that. Then you can change the colors of your stars. So you can really have fun with these infographic charts and start visually representing the data you have in your presentations, in your post for LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, really whatever you want to create. If you want to know more, I really suggest that you watch the tutorial that I created because I go deeper than this. This is just to introduce and remind you that this is a new feature. All right, now let's move to the second new feature or new features because they go by two. For this, I will need a photo. So I'll start with a photo. Let's get a photo from Katya, right? So this one, for example, and I'm gonna get rid of the background. You don't need to get rid of the background. So you don't need to be a pro user to use this new feature that I'm gonna show you as of now. The feature I want to show you is lodge under the effect button. And the novelty here is the frames and the shadows. If the frames and shadows are not showing under your list here, it means that they are probably here under your you may also like kind of section. Just click on them, you will be prompted to connect them to Canva. It takes a few seconds, but then they will show here. So again, I have a full blown tutorial about this where I explore this feature a bit deeper and we will also link that video here on top of this one so you can click and watch the full video and all the details but just for now i want you to know that this is new so for example and this is a very bad example because it had a gradient effect and a shadow let me take something else here i'm gonna take this women getting rid of the background i have my photo this will work better okay so let's grab this colored background okay so in order to use a new feature frames and shadows click on your photo first then go to effect and yes recently canva changed the effect button into edit and then i think it rolled back to being effect so it's one or the other but uh let's assume the button is going to be called effect so select your photo click on effects and find your frames so if you click on see all you will see a series of frames here that you can use. For example, you can use a laptop and have your photo in a laptop. You can use a white laptop. You can use a phone. You can use a phone which is white. Uh, so you see all sorts of different frames that you can use directly. And if you look correctly here, you will see a little setting icon. So if you click on the setting icon, you have some extra control. Here's just like the positioning of your photo in the frame. I want to show you something else like the neon pink, really like this one. It gives, it creates a pink frame around your photo, which is cool. And this one doesn't have any, uh, any settings. You have a circle gold, etc., etc. So have some fun with it, play around with it. That's a new feature. So go ahead and explore the different frames. And finally, and I will wrap up the tutorial with this, the last new feature I want to show you is shadow. So shadows, it's a long awaited feature. A lot of you are going to be very happy about this one. Remember, you need to have your photo selected, otherwise it won't work. Then go to effects and then go to your shadows and see all. Okay, so from here we have the very popular glow. Let me show you. It creates actually what the name indicates, a glow around your photo which is very convenient. So if you click on the little setting options here, you can augment the size of the glow. You can play with its transparency, make it more transparent or even very hard. And then the blur, more or less blur. But if you go all the way down the blur and you change the color for some sort of pink here, what we have is this trendy glowing effect that every YouTuber uses. Remember how we used to do this with Duotone 
and create a glow effect and duplicate the layer and adjust. Well, that is a thing of the past because now we have the glow shadow. All right, so that is what I wanted to show you. I encourage you to go ahead and play with the other shadows here. There's more than the glow, actually. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you find value in what we do, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. This will help us on YouTube, boost our visibility on the platform and help us get closer to our goal this year of having 100,000 subscribers. So I will see you in the next video.